<laughs> what do you think of the sign? Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Like it? Don't like it? Makes sense? I appreciate it. Uh-huh. Yeah? Yeah, do you do you have an idea where you're going to go when you die? Have you thought about that at all? Uh, I believe I reincarnate. Uh, okay. So you believe in reincarnation? Now. Yeah. Okay. What were you in your past life? Uh, you don't remember your past life. Oh, look, I've had people tell me that, oh, yeah, I was a knight in shining armor, or oh, I was a princess, or whatever. So, but you don't know. No, so what are you going to be in your future life? You don't know. You don't, you don't know. Yeah. Uh-huh. So who's in, who's in charge of all the bodies then, and like reincarnating? Like who, who does God. that? It's God. God yeah. Like which God? Uh, Wigodon. What? Wigodon. I've never heard that name before. Where do you get that information? Uh, I read it from uh, scriptures of my faith. Okay. Uh, from what now? Of my faith. What, what is your faith? Uh, I've been studying uh, Sikhism. Oh, yeah. interesting. I've heard of that. Yeah. But what's that all about? What, like, like, is there a, a kind of a heaven, or is there a hell, or is there punishment for evil? What, what's that all about? There's, there's a heaven and hell, but uh, heaven and hell is like a state of mind rather than a place you go to. Oh, it's not an actual place of punishment. It, it could be a punishment in your mind, depending on like what life. You oh, okay. I, okay. Yeah. I, I, there's similar religions. So, like, where would you say Hitler is? now what would what would your religion tell you has happened to Hitler? Well he accumulates <laughs> negative karma so he's probably in a very much worse state than his, uh, his previous life. But you don't think he it would warrant that you know he killed six million Jews, five million others started World War II, 30 million Russians died. So you don't think there's a warrant for actual punishment of Hitler then? No I think there is. There I is. think that God's punishing him and uh, it's in his next lifetime. It's in so what? Like, it's in his next life. Like, like karma. Yeah, karma. Oh, uh, okay. And so, uh, would you consider yourself to be like a good and moral person? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and you know what the standard is, right? For goodness? The standard for goodness? Yeah. Have you heard of it? Ten Commandments. Have you heard of the Ten, ten Commandments? Ten Commandments, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, you think you've kept the Ten Commandments? I believe so. You think so? Okay, well, here's a little test. So, how many lies have you told in your life? So you, yeah. you say you're a liar. My name's John, yeah. by the way. What's yeah. your name? My name is Quentin. Quentin? Yeah, Quentin. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah. yeah. I, I just met a young man named Quentin a few yeah. months ago. So, so yeah. So you go, so Quentin. Then you're a liar. Have you ever stolen anything in your life before? <laughs> like a piece of candy, a toy. Ever downloaded music that you didn't pay for or something off the oh, internet? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then what would you call somebody who steals? Because that's theft, right? Yeah. When you steal something, yeah. They would definitely be a, be a thief. Yeah. So actually, technically, you'd be a lying thief, right? Yeah. And so, Quentin, uh, have you ever used God's name in vain? Like, oh my, G-O-D, or J-C, using Jesus Christ's name in vain, do you yeah, think? That's a bad habit. Yeah, yeah, so that's called blasphemy. So then you would be considered a blasphemous thief and a liar. Yeah. And then here's another one, Quentin. This is the one that got me. Jesus said, you've heard it said to them of old, do not commit adultery. But I say to you, whoever looks at a woman to lust after her has already committed adultery with them in their heart. You think you've ever done that, Look, looked with lust at a woman? Possibly. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so that would, that would make you an adulterer at heart. Yeah. A blasphemer and then a lying thief. And then one more to go, just along that standard of the Ten Commandments. You think you've ever hated anybody before? I used to hate. Yeah, okay. I don't anymore. Okay, and, and I believe you. That's that's <laughs> yeah, honest. Yeah. So, so all you need to do is hate somebody one time, because Jesus talked about if you hate someone, then it's it's as if you've murdered them. The Bible says if you hate your brother, you are a yeah. murderer. So. So to sum it up, Quentin, then you would be a murdering, a murdering, adulterate heart, a thief, a blasphemer, and a liar. So if God were to judge you just based on those five commandments, you know, there's ten more pointed at you, uh, but just those five, would you be innocent or guilty if God were to judge you on those? Oh yeah, I would definitely be guilty. So, so would you go to heaven or would you go to hell? Do you think? Uh, I'll, I'll definitely go to hell. Okay, does that concern you at all, going to hell? Yeah, that's why I'm trying to... Uh, study my faith more. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, that's kind of like standing in front of a judge and he says, okay, you've, you've, you've done all these crimes, robbed a bank, shot people, and driving a stolen car with a, with a kidnapped woman in the back, so you're guilty on four counts, 
and you ask him, what do you, what do you have to say before I send you away? And you say, well, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to improve myself and I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to quit doing these things. What's the judge going to say? He's going to say that's not acceptable. He's going to say, take him away, bailiff. Yeah. Off. You're gone. You know, and it's yeah. the same thing with God. He won't, he won't accept uh, excuses like that on the day of judgment, right? So, so does that concern you, the idea of being in hell forever? Uh, I don't believe that hell is forever, but uh, I do concern that uh, I'm putting myself in hell, yeah. 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 Well, God actually sends people to hell, the Bible says, and it's a literal hell that goes on forever. It says the, the beast and the false prophet and Satan are thrown in there all along with those whose names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Yeah. Maybe that's, you know, uh, Christian gobbledygook to you. No, I'm but, very familiar but, with yeah, Okay, you're familiar. So, yeah. so if you're not saved, if you haven't trusted in Jesus as your Savior, then your name is not written in that Lamb's Book of Life, and you will perish in hell forever, and it's eternal. It's day and night, tormented ever. That's what the Bible says. Yeah. And you can believe, you can choose to believe otherwise, but I'm just, I'm telling you, I'm warning you because I care about you. And that's yeah. that's why these group of, this group of people is here. Yeah. We're not so much protesting a drag queen thing or, or, or uh, sexual uh, perversion, that type of thing. That's bad. But we're here about eternal life because we don't want people to go to hell, yeah. right? And do, do, you, do you sense that I care? Yeah, that, I do. that I don't want you to go to hell? Yeah. I so that's so. the that's the idea. And so what you need to do, is, and you may have heard this before, but you need to repent and believe the gospel, turn from your sins, and and that way you won't end up in the lake of fire. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't take away his, his First Amendment rights. You have every right to, yeah. to talk, and I appreciate you are having a very good conversation. And she's being rude by interrupting. And, but you're having a very polite conversation, and I appreciate that. That's really what we're here for. I mean, I, I love that. You get the people that scream at you, yell, and all that stuff. But I appreciate you taking the time. But that's the idea. You need to repent of your sins, trust in Jesus as your, as your Savior. Like, kind of like you trust a parachute. You wouldn't just jump out of a plane and go try to flap your wings. I'm going to try harder. I'm going to learn more about my faith as you're plummeting toward the ground at 150 yeah. miles an hour and you hit that ground, boom, splat, and you're dead. Same yeah. thing happens when you when you take that jump to death. You're gonna go boom, splat, into eternity in hell. And it's a it's a horrible thing. It's yeah. it's it makes me shiver thinking about it. And that's why I, I care about you personally. And I don't want you to go to hell. So that's why we're here. I understand, man. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, well thanks for yeah. I appreciate nice it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just consider those things. Can I can I give you something to read here? I think this will, this is kind of what we talked about, but it, it, right. it's really be real helpful. I appreciate if you uh, would take that and read it. And do you have a Bible at home? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah, well, and make sure, don't don't just take it on my word, but look up those scriptures that are in there and yeah. what it's saying and compare it to what the Bible said and see, is it true what John said out there, you know? Yeah. I appreciate that, yeah, yeah. yeah! been very reasonable. Woo! Fuckers, come in the market! Fuck Jesus Christ! Yes. Yeah, so, so, that's, that's <laughs> All right, you too. Take care. Yeah. Thanks for considering those things. Very important. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.